sometimes we forget that pet hygiene and pet teeth are just as important as people teeth. So joining us now with the LESBCA is Dr. Adriana who yes. is uh, joining us with the uh, latest on what we need to do to take care of our pet's teeth. Yes, thank you. Um, pet's teeth are just as important as the rest of their body. Sometimes we do forget, as you mentioned, um, and we should be actually cleaning them as often as we do our own. So twice, twice a day? day? Yes, twice a day. Can you imagine um, getting in the brushing, but I can definitely appreciate how difficult it would be to brush Gambino's teeth twice a day. <laughs> if you could wrestle with him, that would be ideal. But realistically, we have busy lives, busy schedules, so it's going to be difficult to wrestle down with Gambino and get a toothbrush in there twice a day. So if you could get in there once, twice a week with a soft bristle toothbrush, that would be great. But for most of us, even that can be a challenge. Um, these guys don't like to have foreign objects in their mouths or even sometimes their lip, lip lifted and looked at. So when we go into the vet's office to come see us, we look in there, we check and see what's going on with their routine visits, but a lot of times when something's painful or just uncomfortable, they don't really want that looked at on a routine exam. So what's best for these guys is once, maybe twice a year, actually have their teeth clean and polished, just like when you go to the dentist. Um, but what makes it tricky for these guys is they can't often sit still and even <laughs> do that. So we put them under anesthesia, but we do scale and polish, clean them just like we do our own, and check for everything that we would do for ours. And that is very important. Um, that kind of routine tartar um, that builds up can create lots of problems other than just kind of the plaque and tartar that builds up. Other things can happen um, as that builds up over time. It can create problems for the rest of their organs as well. So I do encourage you to bring your own vet, um, your own dog to your vet and have them kind of look in there and see what's going on. Maybe schedule a cleaning for your own dog. And what's the price of all that? Like how much would that cost a, a pet owner? Well, it, it kind of varies from, from doctor's office to doctor's office. Um, for us at the, at the SPCA, a dental consult is $58, and when we look inside the, the dog's mouth, we kind of evaluate what's going on as best we can based on just an awake oral exam. We also do a full physical to make sure that the pet is healthy for that dental cleaning, and we also do lab work. Just like if you were to undergo anesthesia, we don't want to put you under anesthesia without having an idea of what's going on with your kidneys or liver, so we do check that out as well. And then the kind of basic dental cleaning starts at about 105 for us there. Um, but keep in mind we are kind of lower cost than most practices, so I would advise you to kind of call your vet and see what, what that cost would be for them. And of course it's easy because we want to make sure that these guys have that good hygiene. And speaking of, you know, pets, dogs, if you want to bring a new one into your family, you've got Gambino here. Yes! Who is a ball of energy. So he much is. fun. He is. <laughs> he is a three-year-old that came in as a stray and he is looking for his forever home. Um, he does great with people. He's super friendly, so we encourage everybody to come <laughs> and meet him because he is super fun, super friendly, and lovable. And honestly, if you want to go for a run or if you want a dog that's a good running dog, this one is a dog for you because he loves to run and play and just have a fabulous time. Yes. So if you want more information on the hygiene services offered at the LESPCA or just more on Gambino, you can go visit the uh, website right there on that screen or call that phone number. So thank you guys for joining us. We appreciate of it. Of course, of course.